In this video, we'll describe the basic indications on and interpretation of the airspeed indicator. The airspeed indicator is one of your primary flight instruments and will always be located in this spot on your instrument panel. It measures the speed of the aircraft moving through the atmosphere and is a relatively simple instrument. On the outside of your plane is a device called a pitot tube, which sticks out into the air unobstructed by anything on the aircraft. When air flows into the hole at the front, this causes pressure to rise inside the indicator and move the needle. If more air goes into the front of the pitot tube, the airspeed indicator will show an increase in indicated speed. Here's another example from an airliner. This device is so simple that even large aircraft use it. Now let's dig into the indicator itself. There's quite a bit of information available on this instrument, and some of these are critical safety factors. The most essential interpretation at this is that this is a dial showing knots with major numbers in increments of 20. There are large white tick marks around the edge of the dial every 10 knots and smaller white tick marks every five knots. And you'll note all the colors. Each of these represents a range. The green arc is called the normal operating range. This is where most flight takes place and you can fly in this range for normal maneuvers without sustaining any structural damage. The yellow arc is a caution range. This is to alert you that you might be approaching a speed where structural damage or fatigue could occur. And the red line is the never exceed speed. Flight above this speed can place you in danger of causing structural damage or fatigue of your airframe. Now you also notice this white arc here. This is the flap operating range. When flying at speeds within this range, you can safely apply flaps without stressing the actuators or mechanical parts of the flaps due to aerodynamic forces. And importantly, you'll note the bottom of the green and the white arcs. Flight near or below these speeds will likely result in a stall. Keep in mind that there are other important speeds that you'll need to know that are not reflected on the face of the airspeed indicator. Avoiding structural damage or excessive strain on your aircraft or flight at certain desired performance are numbers you'll need to know or reference but aren't necessarily shown here. You will always need to familiarize yourself with the pilot operating handbook for your aircraft when you're flying when considering what airspeeds are relevant for your maneuvers. We hope that you found this helpful.